Hey everybody, so in the last video I was talking about the statistics, whether they're all right or whether they're being manipulated. Uh, in this case by Selesh, who's actually showing in his stats a uh, minus 2.22% loss for March. It was way bigger than that six days before. Uh, av people are calculating there was about 5.25% loss. If we go to his chart over here, we can see that um, here's March, right? So here's the beginning of March. He was at uh, 9930, all right? So from 9930, we'll go to the 1st of April. Uh, we'll go about there, 9930 to 9412. So that equates roughly from here to here, really roughly to about 5.2% uh, down in March instead of that sort of 2.2% or whatever that's showing. Now, I was hoping that we'd get in his overview, we'd get some sort of feedback about this because as I said, the, these charts are all I've got. You know, I spend a lot of time sort of talking my Toro and looking at the charts and stuff. And realistically, if we can't trust the charts, if I can't trust the charts, then it kind of defeats the whole purpose. You know, it's like, well, can I use the site if I, if I can't trust the metrics and the stats and all the rest of it? So I was hoping there would be something and there isn't, there's nothing. The last post he's given is eight days ago. Um, people saying I'm out, um, he's shorting more gold, but that's a different thing. Again, he's making some, some moves which people don't agree with. He's shorting gold, gold's going up in the market, he's opened more shorts. That's different, right? That's like whether he's trading well or not, that's other stuff, a separate issue. My primary issue is, did he manipulate his statistics? And if he did manipulate his statistics and he's been caught doing it, then come clean and just tell everyone in the comments. Something, release some statement. If it was a mistake, say it was a mistake. He may be thinking, I'll just let it blow over. He may have been advised, although I doubt it. But it may be just like, just say nothing, it'll blow over, don't do it again. But say something. You can't just have statistics which go from minus 5.18 or whatever, minus a 5% loss roughly, to a minus 2.22% loss in March and think that's going to be cool. This is undermining the kind of the integrity of the, the whole site. For me, for me, not for you, you do what you want. But for me, that's really depressing. And how can I kind of talk about any of these statistics with kind of a clear hearts and just in enjoyment, enthusiasm, when it might all just be, you know, untrue. So I don't know what to do about it, really. Whether he's trading well or not, and he's shorting more gold, which he is, and gold's going up, irrelevant. That's a separate thing. I can talk about the merits of how he trades differently, but first I want to know if it's accurate, or is he cheating, and is he not going to say anything to anyone? Um... I don't like it. Is there no statement? Anything from eToro? Is no one going to say, yeah, this is a problem? It's nothing. I, something, you know, it's just some sort of transparency. Obviously, he's down, but I don't know what to do. I'm still holding on. I'm going to wait a little bit more, see if he comes out with some sort of statement. But if not, what do I do? Do I, I don't know what to do. Do I just cancel him and stop copying? And Because that doesn't really fix the problem for me. Because if I stop copying him and no one says anything, and there was like a 5% loss, which became a 2% loss. What do I do about everyone else? Is everyone else doing this? If it's happening and I'm just not watching, then what? No, I am watching is the truth. I, I, I do make a lot of videos about this. So I, I think I would have seen it if this was happening regularly. I don't think it is. I think this is the first time it's happening with mine. But do I have to watch out for this forever? Is it something where eToro or him or no one will say anything? There'll be no statement if this happens. Um... I don't know. People have said it's just like um, it's how they report statistics, you know, and some people are saying, well, that's not good enough. And some people are saying there's nothing you can do about it. That they're accepting it. I don't know. I, I'm just I'm annoyed by it is the truth. I'm like ah, more confused and a bit disappointed. Like, what do I do now? Can I keep talking about this? What do I do if I can't trust that? You know, um, I'm a bit annoyed about that. So um, otherwise, Kresme is doing OK. Uh, Marco Hill brand is doing okay. Swissway is doing, is doing well. It's weird to even talk about the rest of them. I've been enthusiastic about this site for a long time, right? And a lot of that is not just based on how clean it looks or they've got loads of assets and it's easy to use and the interface is great. And, but it's the integrity of it, right? The integrity of the statistics. Without that, I may as well just be like, you know, a child throwing things around a, a wall. Uh, that's a bad example, but there's kind of no rhyme or reason or meaning. I'm just you know, looking at the pretty colors, looking at the pretty green bars and red bars. If they don't mean anything, or they can be manipulated and no statement, I don't know what to do about it. So, um, and our fund manager, Zek, he's up, his dividends, refunds are good. He looks like he's doing well. I can't see any problems with the others. If you've noticed any other prob any problems with my other trader stats, please let me know if I've just missed it. I don't think I would, though. That was a glaring thing. But let's say it had changed 
a quarter of a percent. Would I have noticed it? I'm, I don't know now. So Thomas Parry Jones is up at $19, a little bit of refunds. Amit Kupp is doing really well. He's moved back up. Remember, he was like down near last. He's back up second to the top again. $46 in profit, $9 in refunds. So overall, it's like $55 in profit. Because remember, there's the value minus the net invested. That gives you a real profit with all the profit and any refunds which are there as well. Melvin's just doing well. He's up there. He's on 9.71%, although... Sometimes this can get messed up if I add and remove money. So I'm not sure where that is. But, you know, I want to sort of keep being enthusiastic and talking about it. And it's a wonderful kind of service. I'm, this has really rocked me a bit in my ability to make these videos and talk about it and, and trust the site. So I don't know what to do with that, really. Uh, God's honest truth. So that's my kind of update. I just wanted to say whether something had happened or not. In other things, if I go to the watch list, I was talking about that guy uh, here, potential creators to copy. I was talking about this guy here, who I said I might do a sort of more in-depth review of. Um, but I was looking at statistics, and we see, you know, in 2022, these sort of huge drawdowns, these sort of wild fluctuations. Now they've stopped a bit in the last two years. But realistically, even with this, I think it was up 10.68 for that year. But these are huge uh, fluctuations for me. So I don't think at the moment I'd wait. I'd, if I was going to copy him, I'd wait to see if that's stabilized for a couple of years. Or is he, you know, because these sort of swings will just kill my nerves, you know. Um, so it's not someone I'd look into just for that idea. Obviously, um, his copies have gone up a lot since he was featured. But I'm not, at the moment, I'm going to leave it and not do that review because um, these are wild swings and it's not what I'm looking for. It might be what you're looking for. And he's done really well, right? He's in profit. All the time he's in profit. But still, this would freak me out. So I'm just going to leave it for the moment. I don't, I don't see that he's uh, stronger or more attractive in his statistics to me than the people I'm currently copying. You know, um, although I can't, I don't know how I'm going to hold on to copying Celeste. Is the truth? I'm waiting. But it's not just that. It's more than that. Because if I can't trust the ones with Celeste and I can't trust the system, I've got a bigger problem. You know what I mean? So. Um, even if they just said something like this was a mistake, this went wrong, or he did manipulate it, but we're going to leave him and told him not to do it again. Fine. At least that's a level of transparency I can understand. Or, you know, this was a mistake and he did it by accident. Let's just move on. Can you forgive him? Yes, he won't do it again. We're watching. Yes, fine. But not nothing, you know, not nothing. And they don't have to address it instantly and address me or write something. They could do a blog post. They could do something, an update on how they are looking at stuff. A little bit about the procedures to sort of allay everyone's fears, you know. Do we let people off the first time and give them, you know, because I think people, a lot of people would agree with that. Some people might go, no, he's done this, he did it purposefully, I'm not copying him. But give people that transparency to make that choice, maybe, is what I'm thinking. I don't know. I'll stop going on about that. But... Uh, I'm not going to do a review of him because I think the people I'm currently copying, some of the other traders, are more attractive to me. So I'd rather just put more money with them. Uh, if you do know anyone to copy, please let me know. If you've seen any other stuff with statistics, which I'm missing, or if there's any other reason. Someone said, you know, might he have made the money back at the end of last month and it wasn't manipulation. I looked at all the closed trades and there were no closed trades before the end of the month which could have done that. Could it have been the open trades? The stuff that was open in this portfolio, I couldn't see anything. If you can, please let me know, but I couldn't see anything in there which had had such a quick uptick in the last three days of last month after I made that last video that, that would have done that. And only one of those days was a trading day. The other days, were, were, the markets were closed. So. No, as far as I can see, no. It looks like it was it was that that did it. So um, we'll see. Let me know how you're doing uh, and what you're up to. I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Um, yeah, sorry that's such a confusing sort of rant. I really didn't know what to say next because I've seen this problem and it's like I want to move on with kind of a clear view of what the site is and what I can trust and what I can't and the feedback that'll be given if something does go wrong because we are a community right of people on the site and it's one thing to just say well you either accept it or not but it's a social trading site we talk right there is a kind of a community feel and if they can just talk to people and explain a bit I think about transparently what happened there but I don't know. I think that'd be. I think that would be better. I think. I don't know. It's not my business, though. They're worth billions, right? So, um, I don't know. So it's a bit difficult to move on. Anyhow, I've said that before. I'm going to stop. Have a good weekend. See you. Bye.